Hey everyone, it's Caitlin from Really Big Plant. Thank you so much for joining me. We are just pulling up to Lowe's for some plant shopping today, so let's get it. Okay, I just checked the weather. It is 99 degrees. It's gonna get up to 102 today, so we're gonna stay in the indoor plant section before we melt. Just got out of the car and like I'm like already sweating. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> around we're gonna follow him we got too close it was awkward it's gonna go run over here <laughs> okay so let's take a look at what we've got here this is so exciting it's been a while since i've been plant shopping <gasps> oh, these palms are so big wait go stand next to the palm so i can <laughs> 60 bucks 60 yeah that's pretty good the stem is small but like this is <laughs> Do I need to replace my majesty balm? I don't know if we can fit this in the car though. Big box stores like love these weird combo planters. I actually feel like this could do okay. You've got this this bromeliad in here which will like die soon. We'll put out pups. Well because it's in flower already and then pothos. I don't know. I guess that could last. I kind of like that actually. Like a pothos with like a tropical looking flower sticking out of it. It's yeah, very like point. um this reminds me of how like when they decorate sets like in star trek and stuff how they'll like combine big like bird of paradise flowers with some other type of plant that doesn't make that kind of flower and it creates this alien plant life kind of feel which i really like let's see how much this is uh, 35 bucks 35 dang that's expensive yeah okay that's a nose. trying to move really slowly it's so hard <laughs> Hey, we've got our English ivy here, which believe it or not, this is a plant that I, I think I've never owned one of these, right? Have I ever come home with an English ivy? I don't think I've ever brought one of these home. It's because these usually have spider mites, <laughs> but they are very, very pretty. I feel like if you manage to like thoroughly clean one and be really dedicated to it and keep it inside, you could have like a spider mite free ivy. I didn't check the price. How much are they? 10.98. Okay, and then we have, ooh, these Calathea roseopicta. These are like the dotty version, I think. These are 16.98. Mm. They're very full, but they're like kind of dry looking. I mean, it is 100 degrees out, so <laughs> this kind of makes sense. What else do we have here? These aglionemas. Oh, this is a nice little full one. $16.98. I feel like that's like pretty good. Just like ignore the dead leaves. Yeah. Syngonium, $10.98. These plants are super thirsty. Yeah, last time I was here, which was like a while ago, I guess, but they were pretty moist. I guess these are moist. Rika Palms, ten ninety eight. Oh, that's kind of a lot for this. And these little Dracenas are not looking good. Okay, we've got big hanging pothos, twelve ninety eight. That's pretty good. These are like six inch pots. Got rubber trees, sixteen ninety eight. Oh, look, this one has so many little babies in there. Uh, I guess they're kind of struggling, but <laughs> it looked great to me at first. And then, oh, the little hypoestes. This looks kind of overwatered. It looks kind of yellow, but that's okay. These like these would rather be overwatered than underwatered. These are four ninety eight. Bakia here, um, parlor palms, which I love parlor palms. I don't have any of them left. I got rid of all of mine in the move. $16.98 is kind of a lot for that though. It's not that big. You can get pretty big ones for cheap sometimes. Oh, this little peperomia um, area. It's like the little string bean peperomia. $7.98. They have um, 
these really succulent bean-shaped leaves. They're very cute. More of them here. Fitonia, another plant that I've never owned, but they're very beautiful. I think it might be too dry and humid where I live now to try though. Like, I was intimidated by these plants in San Francisco because they're so thirsty, and here in the in Inland Empire in Southern California, there's no way I could keep one of those alive. <laughs> Known for its dramatics and being very thirsty and collapsing and looking dead. I think this is a plant that actually could be wrong about this, but I think there's some people who use it inside an aquarium. They will grow it fully underwater. So that should tell you something about how thirsty that plant is and how high it likes its humidity. Peperomias are cute. This is pretty stretched for light, but I like the leaves on here. I think I found the coolest plants here. My husband said he just found the coolest plants. Oh, the Aurelias! I got one of these and then killed it so fast. Oh, we can't do that. <laughs> it died pretty quick. I don't know what happened to it because normally these last for a while. They're like, um, my gosh it's 20 bucks okay but I, we're gonna kill this so fast no, okay but here. we're gonna we buy it never... wow we're gonna wait, okay wait, wait, wait. oh my god oh my gosh oh my gosh okay 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 all right <laughs> <laughs> looks like i found the coolest place. okay so variegated ficus triangularis if you've been watching my channel is probably my most like purchased and killed plant. It's a white whale. <laughs> I keep buying these and then having disastrous things happen to them and they die and then like they just take me on a roller coaster ride. I bought one from Plant Arena like last year or something like that and the whole thing died and then it came back and was a miracle and then it died again when I moved. Anyway, I didn't think I would ever see these in person so I might have to buy them all. <laughs> I've had like five or six of these and I've killed them every time and they've always been kind of expensive so there's 20 bucks. We're getting one. We're getting one. <laughs> Wow, good find, babe. My husband is <laughs> proud of himself. <laughs> okay, this one is so big. I think I have to get it. Um, okay. Gotta select one of these. Time to spend an hour choosing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that. I'm so excited. <laughs> We've just put this in the cart. I can't believe we found one of these in person. Oh my gosh. So if you're in Southern California and looking for variegated ficus triangularis, check Lowe's because I guess they are stocking them. Um, I didn't even check what the brand is on these plants. Altman? Altman. <gasps> There's a big pigeon. Oh. Hello. Show the discount plants in the whiskey biscuit. Oh no! Please don't buy things that look like this. <laughs> I don't even know what this used to be. It. Oh, oh gosh! Don't touch the squishy, rotten plants in the sales section. This is totally salvageable. This bromeliad. How much is it? Oh right, this is how they structure their clearance. So that would still be like eight dollars. Mm, probably not worth it those money trees these could maybe actually make a comeback these look like oh gosh this is like rescuable these stems are living oh this is still gonna be eight dollars not worth it wow that's crazy that is very expensive those don't make weight oh, a bird hello just blessing the plant shopping. You know what's a good day when pigeons are trying to get in on the video. Okay, should I like usher it outside? I don't know, they might just like hurt it if it stays in the store. Go on dude, go outside. The shopping trip is totally blessed by that pigeon. Okay, let's keep looking. That was very distracting. More philodendron Brazil. Oh, the baby fiddle leaf fig trees. Hey, I really like these cute pots. $16.98. It's 
kind of a lot for that. But I do like the pot. And some snake plants, which I'll show these to you when I get home. I picked up one of these when I was here last time. Oh, these are so cute and fat. Look at this little thing. Mm, it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> $19.98. Yeah, that's like what I paid for mine. This has pups coming out. I'd probably go for this one, even though the plant is pretty small. So cute and chonky. Okay, what else do we have here? Calathea orbifolia, which I actually have been meaning to buy another one of these, but I've yet to see one that like looks really, really great to me. So I think I'm gonna hold off for now. I left mine behind when I moved. I feel sad about it. I wish I still had it. Okay, and some Hoya tricolor. So probably 20 bucks, 19.98. What else? Little baby ponytail palms is bonsais, which is cute. Oh, got a little hand a bear in there. Oh, this is glued, 22.98. Whoops. These. I, I kind of like this idea. I wish they didn't glue the air plants in, but like, I guess logistically, if I were a store selling these, I'd probably glue the plants in too. So that makes sense to me. Actually, the other thing about air plants is it doesn't harm them to glue them. They have these root systems that form that, uh, oh, um, these, <laughs> Ooh, these, <laughs> these don't look super good, but see how they're these little roots there? The roots on an air plant are just um, for grabbing things. They don't actually help them drink water. So you can glue that to stuff if you want to glue an air plant. It doesn't hurt it. It just makes it harder to care for it and like wash it and soak it and stuff. Okay, some little ficus trees, which is this. I feel like these plants are kind of pricey. The house plants are kind of pricey here. They're like all about like 20 bucks. And my husband's like, hey, don't complain. This was $20. I think Gabriella plants is selling <coughs> four inch pots of these for like 10 bucks right now or something like that. Maybe like 15. African violets, which are so cute. Those are a good thing to buy from the sale section if they don't have flowers. Sometimes these go on sale for like a dollar. Um, they don't have any right now. Or did they? No, I don't think they did. More Diffenbachias. This is a baby version of the Diffenbachia I have, which not doing so hot these days. I maybe need to pot it up with another new one. Okay, what else? We've got various types of cylindricas. This is the fernwood, Sansevieria fernwood. These are cool. These ones get really long and spiky. $26.98. Snake plants are usually pretty expensive because they're so easy to care for and they're slow growers. These cylindricas are very full. Oh no. This is probably rescuable, but we're gonna pass on this one. How much is it? It doesn't matter how much it is because we're definitely not gonna buy it. Oh my gosh. Why do I love this super weird pot that looks like a tree? It's a little Sansevieria in there, a little bird's nest variety. Pounds, $16.98. Oh, I bet this is glued in here. Oh yeah, we're glued in here. It's cute though. A little Hoya Curtisii. Cute. I can't believe we found this, I'm so obsessed. Yeah. I'm panic trying to decide if I need to buy a second triangularis. We decided to skip the outdoor plant section. It's 101 degrees now, so we're gonna just put these in the car. Head to Home Depot. There's the outdoor plant section over there in the sun. There's indoor outdoor, but it's too hot for everything. Yeah, let's just get them in the back seat. Hey guys, it's hot in here. Okay, it's so hot. Let's get in the car. 
my neck is sweating. Oh, my butt can't go on this chair. What am I gonna do? I started the cooler. are burning. Woo. How do people live in this heat, you guys? This is my first summer in this heat. I'm too out of shape for this. <sighs> we're gonna just head over to a Home Depot that's like pretty much across the street and we're gonna make it quick because I don't want to leave my precious triangularis in the car for too long. Oops, I need to put my seatbelt on. The seatbelt is burning hot. You good? Oh my gosh. 100 degree struggle bus. But I've noticed that around here, I'm in the Temecula Valley area and there's like a million Lowe's and Home Depots around here. And in general, I think the plants at Lowe's tend to be better, at least the house plant selection in my opinion, but maybe a little bit more expensive on the whole as well. So I'm not sure if that's the same like everywhere. So I would love to know if you prefer Lowe's or Home Depot for your big box plant shopping, just cause I don't know if it's always consistent either. It could be a seasonal thing. Maybe there's other big box plant stores too. I'm not even like naming. Oh, Menards. Does Menards sell plants? I've never been plant shopping in a Menards, but I'd imagine that they maybe have plants too. They're also just a big base there. Oh yeah. I'm like, I don't think I've seen any Menards out here, but I maybe that's just, Menard. he's like, what's Menards? <laughs> I grew up in Chicago. I guess that's like a, it's like a Home Depot. I think their color is like orange. Save big money at Menards. Like, no. Super hot Home Depot. Here we come. Oh, there's no shade. Um, yeah, there's no shade plants are in the shade back there. Hmm. We're good. Let's go. Yeah. Normally I'd walk through this outside part here, but we're gonna go in through the inside because I might melt. <laughs> Need one of those horse air conditioners. They sell right here. We're gonna make it quick because this plant section is basically outside. It's uh, not air conditioned, so <laughs> it's very hot. There's big fans blowing. Okay, let's go. I feel like there's pretty good selection in this store though. Not a lot of stuff. And they've got a lot of big plants too, which I love. Let's start down this way. $27.98. Oh, these are huge Sansevierias for that price. These are really big. Ah, oh, these giant money trees are only 30 bucks too. They're so tall. Oh, but so skinny. The trunks are so skinny. Haha. <laughs> wow. Plant of the month, $60 Dracaena. It's kind of a lot for those, though they're tall. $70 for even bigger ones and $50 fiddle leaf figs. Oh, these are very large. They're really tall. They're way bigger than me. Good old ficus ginseng. These Brazils don't look as happy as in those, but also these plants must be like 100 degrees in here right now. Ooh, acacias. Orbifolia back there, some little aurelias. These are like parsley, don't they? Staked adansonias and... That's my husband. Philodendron micans. Brazil's here, 20 bucks. Oh wow, these are this is huge. For $20, this is a great deal. In my opinion. And look at little pineapple plants, $24.98. So cute. Little pineapples. Oh, look at these fat string of pearls. They look so big and happy and Okay, we might die, so I think we should probably. <laughs> These Majesty Palms are way shorter. These are 30. Okay, half the price, about half the height. That makes sense. My husband dying of heat over there. We're all kind of feeling like this plant right now. I think while there might be like way more plants here, I think the plants themselves look healthier at Lowe's, but I could be wrong. Should we go? 
butt cooler in the car is a lifesaver. Okay, we didn't get any plants at Home Depot. Um, it was too hot. A leaf just fell off my plant already. Ah, thank you. Welcome home, variegated triangularis. It's like really dry. I don't know if you can like tell when I pick it up that it's extremely light. Like I can like hold it like this um, <laughs> versus this one, the Fabian stump, which needs two hands to be picked up because it's very heavy. I really want to change out my sink nozzle thing. I don't know if that would be hard to do. I imagine it's like maybe not that difficult. I feel like I need a slightly taller one for plant washing. Look at how amazing this big chunk of a plant is. These are called Fabian stump. Um, it's a little tree-like plant that's got a huge stem. These are like a throwback plant. They were really popular like in the 70s. I feel like this is a really classic um, house plant from a different era. I think that these are deceptively thirsty plants. Like normally when I see a plant with a thick trunk like this, I just like forget about it and don't water it because it looks like it should have reservoirs, you know? There's, there's a lot of plant material in here to hold water, but I've found that these tend to be pretty unforgiving if you let them go dry for too long. Um, so we're gonna try with this one to not let it die. I don't know how I'm gonna wash this off. It's way bigger than the sink. I don't wanna take this back into my bathtub because last time I did that, I got water everywhere. Let me see, let me see how this goes. Let me see. Uh, it kind of fits. I could like spray water sideways at it. <laughs> ecstatic <laughs> about this. This is like my consistent number one wish list plant. I hope it lives. I would have to say, if I'm being completely honest, it's got like the worst chance of survival out of like any of the ones I've ever had because before I was in San Francisco, the humidity was just way, way higher. So I'm not gonna get super attached to it or I'll try not to. I always get really attached to the ficus triangularis, the variegated ones, and I always feel so heartbroken when they die, but trying again. <laughs> keep your fingers crossed for this one. I would love to hear from you on whether or not you successfully keep variegated ficus triangularis alive. At me on Instagram on your picture of your huge triangularis so I can be super jealous. I'd love to hear from you on what awesome plants you've been finding in big box stores recently and yeah I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Okay it has been three days like literally only about 72 hours since I filmed that shopping trip and we are on our way back to Lowe's because unfortunately my triangularis is already dying I mean it must have lost like 50 leaves already we go back and we see if the ones in Lowe's are still alive because if it dies here and not at Lowe's then that tells us something <sighs> It says that I keep killing these for some reason. Why can't I keep this plant alive? So I don't really know what happened. All I know is that it's probably my fault. I don't know what's wrong, what I'm doing incorrectly, but we're gonna try again. So we're heading back to Lowe's, hoping that maybe they still have some of these trees in stock and I can try to do a better job with another one, even though I don't even really know what went wrong. My theory is that a couple days ago when we bought that plant, I put it in the car and left it here for about 20 minutes in like the 100 degree heat when I went to Home Depot and I thought it was gonna be okay for just a couple minutes in the car, but my current working theory is that the heat in the car for that amount of time was just way too much for the plant and it did it in pretty immediately um, because the plant was already looking bad like pretty much the first night and then by the next morning it had a ton of yellow leaves already. I'm just really hoping that they've got another one at the store and I can try to give it exactly what it needs from the start. My husband just giving me a pep talk. <laughs> that we're not going to be super disappointed if they don't have them. <laughs> He's uh, like, oh gosh, this is going to ruin our day. Yeah, positive gonna attitude. It's we're going to have a positive chill. attitude. It's going to be okay whether they have them or not. It's not like it's so much pressure. We're back. <laughs> Look, all of these like a medium large plants, they weren't here last time. Okay, we're here on a mission. Let's go see if the 
triangularises are still here. I don't see them. The March of Dejection. I'm just gonna go check over here really quick in case they move them over here. <gasps> They're here! Yes. They moved them over here. <laughs> Let's buy them all. Hey, this is more of them than there were last time. Okay, these look so much healthier than mine. Look at these have so many leaves. Look at this is really full one. Let's get two, he says. No, but doesn't that just mean we're going to kill them all really quick? No, now we're going to eliminate the car heat variable and now we'll, have, we'll be able to test like a variable. Okay, so this one is extremely full. Yeah, this one has all these new leaves. I don't... So does this one. Yeah, I know. I'm saying we get both of them. Wow, these look, these look better than the ones we chose from before. <laughs> okay, we're going to get two of them. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's turn my triangularis black thumb into a variegated green one. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the AC quick. Gotta protect the plants. Can't let them be hot in the car. <laughs> I'm just sitting here under a pile of variegated ficus triangularis. I'm like the happiest girl in the world right now. <laughs> oh wait, I need to put my seatbelt on somehow. All right. These better live. <laughs> this is the definition of bawling. <laughs> My life is so Gucci. <laughs> okay, so we just got back. These are the two new ones that I got. And then I just put this one here for comparison. This is the one that I bought earlier in the video, just a few days ago, like a little more than 72 hours ago now. So this one is obviously not looking good. I mean, it just looks... <laughs> So droopy and sad in comparison, and it's already lost so many leaves. Watch, I bet if I... Do you see that? Oh! <laughs> but these ones... These ones are doing really good. So hopefully I can keep these happy now. Um... I literally, I turned on a humidifier over by my other triangularis and I have this one over there in my dining room now. These plants, like, they really want high humidity. They grow very well outdoors in Florida. I have to figure out where I want to put these and how I want to position them. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in the first spot where I put this plant because I thought it was going to be the best spot. Like, it gets really great light, um, sort of indirect light for most of the day and then a little bit of direct sun first thing in the morning, which is like the weakest direct sun. Um, so I thought that would be good for this plant, but I just, I don't even know. So I think I'm going to put one over there and then I'll figure out where I'm going to put the other one. But my plan is to try to keep updating you guys on these pretty frequently. I'm going to try to post about them on Instagram in my stories and stuff like that so that I can update you more regularly. Also, these are like moister. The soil has a little bit more dampness than the first one I brought home. So I'm not going to wash these off. I'm just going to leave them alone and hope that they can just figure it out. Or more like, hopefully I can figure it out. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Hopefully this one can pop back. Just because I bought these two doesn't mean I'm giving up on this one, okay? Just so you know, plant, I'm not giving up on you. Somebody pull me off.